Good morning, Saints. Uh, before I start my beautiful day here in Minnesota on 420, 2019, and for a lot of you, I know what you all be doing, but that's another, that's a completely different video. This one is on my good friends at NASA. Uh, in the, within the last 30 days, I've lost an awful lot of friends because of my continued diatribe about NASA and my disbelief in the things that they do in outer space. And obviously I have two groups of friends. One group of friends who wholeheartedly agree with me and uh, one group that are on the other end, NASA's side. I just wanted, I found this this morning. This came up on my uh, on my scroll feed. Uh, you can't see it, the reflection's too big. But uh, it's from space.com and it's an article that was posted two days ago. So that's April 18th, 2019. It's uh, titled, Second Astronaut, Second NASA Astronaut to Spend Nearly a Year in Space for Science. And it's a picture of a woman, Christina uh, Cook, or Koch, uh, K-O-C-H. And she arrived at the International Space Station in March, and it says she will remain there for a year. Here's what the article says, quote unquote, NASA's next long, long duration space flight mission has already begun. And doctors are excited about what it is, uh, or about what it could teach them. Astronaut Christina Cook, Koch, whatever, will spend nearly a year aboard the International Space Station, NASA announced on Wednesday, April 17th, with her return trip delayed uh, to February 2020. During her 11, uh, yeah, with her return trip, delayed to February 2020. Her return trip back to Earth, uh, uh, delayed to 2020, February 2020. During her 11 months in space, she will monitor how her body responds to the mission, producing much needed data about how well human bodies can withstand the dangers and hardships of long-term space flight. Okay. So far, that data has been difficult to come by. Standard space station missions last about six and a half months, and only a handful of NASA astronauts have stayed in orbit longer than 200 days in a single space flight. That's problematic for an agency that has its sights set on human journeys to Mars, a six to eight month flight in each direction within a decade or two. Uh, Christina's long mission in Earth orbit could offer peace of mind about the impacts of such a journey and what they might be. It could also shed light on how men and women respond differently to spaceflight, NASA officials said. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. The article continues on. The reason I'm stopping in, Peggy Whitson was in space for 666 days and everyone applauded and cheered the fact that she, a woman, have been in outer space for so long. 666 days is more than pretty close to, but well, it's more than two years in space. Peggy Whitson, remember her? The pee drinking, urine drinking astronaut from Iowa? I remember her. They Apparently they didn't learn anything from Peggy Whitson's 666 days in space. So they're gonna send another woman up there. See, the trend with NASA is they keep doing the same nonsense over and over and over and over. And none of you retards out there pays attention to what they're doing. I do. It's hooey. Peace, love, fisherman out.